Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a special project for you. It's a bonus project because it's Saturday today, but this is my swap for regional training. Our Stampin' Up! does various events throughout the year, and this is our um, one-day training event that happens in Telford um, each year, and this is my swap that I've taken with me. And it's a lovely little paper bag, and inside, inside this one is a tea light, and I um, will be handing them out today because I'm actually at the event now while this is this video is being viewed. Some of them have got sweeties in. But I'm going to show you how to make it because it's so cute and I love the clothes of it. So I'm going to pop that to one side. First thing I want to do is actually make this part because it's using the tag topper punch. Um, and although you can see my this one here I put a brad in, I didn't like the clothes of it. So I much prefer the, play, the cute little clothes peg. So this piece measures three by two inches, which is seven and a half by five centimetres. And the, obviously you need the tank topper punch. And you slide it in until it won't go any further and you'll feel resistance. And you just punch down and that's what you're left with. So I'm not gonna round the corners just yet. I'm gonna do those in a second because I want to score it at the same time scoring the paper. And I'm using the Designer Series paper stacks. I love them. I love that you can get so many different bags and boxes and treat pouches from one small piece of paper. Six and a half by four and a half inches, which is 16 and a half by 11 and a half centimetres. And you line it into your paper, into your scoring tool, which is my, my most faithful tool ever, with the long side at the top and score it at one, three, four and six inches which is two and a half seven and a half ten and fifteen centimeters then turn it round and score it again at one inch which is two and a half centimeters and then this piece here this measured uh, three by two inches so we're going to score this one at one and a half inches which is four centimeters because it's seven and a half by uh, five so score it at four centimeters and that means it will fold over nicely and you'll get this lovely tab on the front gorgeous so fold the score lines and burnish them fold up all of those I come back to this one and give this a good good press too because you know it will be held closed with the peg but you don't want it to fire up and then on here hopefully you can see that there is a little rectangle we need to trim that off grab my paper snips trim that one off and then cut up all of these all of those and then I need some sticky strip which I've helpfully put back in my box. I have a special adhesive box just to one side that keeps all of my glues and everything handy and I tied it away. So sticky strip along this section here, keep it close to the score line and then we want it on this part here because this is going to come round and be the back so we want it on the last one, flip it over and this one close to the edge. And now start putting the little bag together. And then fold in the sides and then the one without sticky strip and the last one is the one that is with sticky strip. off. It's trying to come off but it's it's you know it's resisting. There we go. And then when you pinch in the sides it will close together and form this lovely bag shape. There we go. So you can pop your tea light in it or, or whatever you want to go in it. Sweeties, treats, those sorts of things. 
I'm going to do the tiny little bit of stamping that's going on and it's just the one word and it's thanks and this is from the card kit hip hip hooray and it comes with three stamp three stamps that you can keep and an ink spot as well as all of the cards and what have you to make it I love the font of this I've used it plenty of times before um, but I absolutely love it I just think it's gorgeous so this time I've got real red ink I used coastal cabana then so I've got real red this time round and my phone is going bonkers next to me and I'm going to punch that with the ticket builder punch and sponge the edge of this again with the real red and then I'm going to I've got the red um, cards the matching red real real red card stock I've got two of the shapes from the itty bitty shapes punch pack I've got the scallop flower that's just landed on me and then I've got the four petal flower and I've got the petite petals as well so I'm one of each of those I'm going to pop them all up with a with the back of your paper piece so just push straight into the middle and it lifts them all up and this time I've got rhinestones on this one because I've because I've made so many swaps I've used the metallics pegs and they come in silver and gold so the gold ones I've put pearls with them but the silver peg which is what I'm going to use this time round I'm using the rhinestones so a big one in the middle there and then the smallest ones in these little flowers here and oh I forgot to cut out the backer. I need another bit of the real red and the Ticket Duo Builder and my dimensionals, which I also put away. And I'm going to put that onto the onto the red. Normally, you would see me put it onto the back of the sentiment, but I want to offset this, so I'm positioning it where I want to cover. A couple on the back there, and. Let's turn these over so I can pick them up with some glue dots. So the scallop one I'm going to pick up there. My pegs, and actually I've separated my peg pots, so I've got this, you get half and half, you get 24, so you get 12, 12 silver and 12 gold ones. And I'm going to take this tiny little four petal flower here, and don't put it at the top because obviously that's where you would put your fingers over it so I kind of position it over the metal hinge part just there so it's just very pretty very sweet and then I can start putting this bit on this bit now and I need to round these corners because I forgot to do them before and liquid glue or snail or sticky strip something like that onto the back part and the trick with this is you put the front on first so you know you've got that bit lined up so the front is all lined up then fold the back round and then it will be perfectly lined up so I can pop my clip on now which I've just dropped clip on there take these off put that down there and then the big flower, obviously there is a hole here because it's the tag topper punch. Don't put your glue, your flower sticking directly over that bit. You need to put it a little bit above or a little bit below so that you're not actually gluing the flower to the inside and that leaves it still open. So there you go, that's my swap. I hope you like it and I'm sure I had a great time. Um, and thank you very much for joining me. Bye.